There is a feature in Affinity Photo which allows you to transform and move the selection you have made. To demonstrate, I'll pick the marquee tool from the tools panel and create a rough selection around one of these ice creams. And with the marquee tool still selected and holding my left click mouse button, now I can move my selection around. Moving the selection around like this would work with these four marquee tools, including the freehand selection tool. So we can move our selection like this, but how can we rotate or change dimensions? Before we learn that, I want to show you something. I picked the move tool from the tools panel with the layer already selected and locked. The bounding box around selection shows you X symbol around each corner, confirming that the layer is locked, which means no modifications can directly be applied to this layer. So first I unlock it by left clicking on it and you can see that the X's are gone and we have a regular bounding box, which can now be transformed. However, if we transform it like this, it's the content of the layer which gets transformed. So this is useful sometimes, but this is not considered as transforming the selection. Here we are transforming the selected area. So let me undo that by pressing Ctrl or Command Z. And now I will go to the select in the main menu at the top and select the last option from the list, which is edit selection as a layer. And this creates a red overlay masking everything else except the selection with a bounding box with all the possible transformations. So now all we need to do is to transform it like a regular one. And once we have achieved the desired area we want to select, simply click anywhere in the blank area to commit the selection. Now, let me undo that because I want to show you one more thing. To make precise changes, you can also use the transform panel like moving, rotating, skewing, and once you're happy with the results, click anywhere on canvas to commit the selection.